fun little show and they've worked very, very hard for the past six weeks. I could not be prouder of them if they were my older kids, my upper school kids. This is only my second year working with the middle school and they are amazing, full of energy and I know that I leave this place with more energy than when I come into in the afternoon. It's hard, it's different for me because I'm used to saying good evening everybody and it's the afternoon and it's still light outside and I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. Um, my name is Lois O'Leary and I am the drama director for Crocker High School and now the middle school and I'm, I'm very excited to have that new position. I would like to ask you to turn off your cell phones. Please don't take any pictures during the show because it might it might make them make a mistake, and, and at, at their age, they've worked really hard. I'd rather have it go nice and smoothly for them. Um, we will have a chance afterwards to take cast pictures, take pictures of your your love, lovely little children. They're not little, any half of them are taller than I am. Um, but sit back now and relax and enjoy cheating back. Your death? 
As in Dead. As in The Grim Reaper. Yes, Miss Johnson, that's one of my names. One of those letters would come in handy right about now. Hey, you guys. I think this guy's here for group, but he doesn't know yet. Who? This guy. What guy is this guy right here? Imaginary friends are not in your profile. They cannot hear me or see me, Miss Johnson. Why not? Because I am deaf. I only hear to those who are about to die. Hey, can you guys see this guy? He's right here. Black shirt, tie, bad suit. Anyone? There's no one there. Now that that's so, Miss Johnson, we have 15 minutes before we be on our way, so I suggest we do. Whoa, I'm not Miss Johnson. What? You've got the wrong person. I'm not her. But when I came in and I asked you if your last name was Johnson, you said... And I said, maybe. Maybe. Is it perhaps? Possibly? Might be? Might not be? But... But nothing. I'm not her. Hey, you guys. Is my last name Johnson? No. no. See? But I appear to. That's your fault, not mine. And which one of them is she? I'm not telling. But... I'm no snitch. All right, then. I guess I'll have to do this the hard way. Ladies, I'm looking for Sam Johnson. Where'd you come from? It doesn't matter. Which one of you is Sam? Don't tell him. He's deaf. Would you say out of this? No! He's the grim for everyone. Don't tell him anything. You're deaf? Huh. Huh. <laughs> I thought you'd be taller. I wish you was taller. Why do you want Sam? Well, what you said is true. I am deaf. And it's Sam's time to come We may be crazy, but we're not that crazy. There is no way you can get us to believe that you are dead. I don't care if you believe me or not. I just need to find out who Sam Johnson is. We're not telling you. What about this? Instead of the Grim Reaper, you could be the Grim Farmer. Then you wouldn't have to carry a sickle around, and you could ride a tractor. Then you could plow souls with the apple. No one uses a sickle anymore. Hey, where is your sickle? It's a prop. It actually isn't necessary. What is necessary is I find out who Sam Johnson is. First, I can eliminate the... Why? Because the name is Sam Johnson. Sam as in Samuel? Or Sam as in Samantha? Well, I, uh, now look here. Well, which is it? I don't know. What does your notepad say? Just says Sam. Looks like you've got a problem. Buddy, would you like to go to a group session? It's supposed to start in 15 minutes. I'm afraid that's impossible. I've got to be done in 15, make that 14 minutes and 35 seconds with Samuel or Samantha. There are going to be some serious repercussions. Okay, here is the deal, mister. We don't really believe that you are who you say you are. You see, if you really were dead, we'd tell you about Sam Johnson. No problem. But, as it is, there are some things that are worse than death. For instance, you could be a DMV employee. Or a politician. <laughs> or an IRS auditor. Or a proctologist. Or a dentist. Or, uh, or a proctologist dentist. <laughs> Maybe you're even an English teacher. And we'd hate to give Sam up to an English teacher. I am none of those things. Then perhaps you wouldn't mind showing some identification. I don't have any identification. Then how are we supposed to know who you are. Well, when I first appeared, I only appeared to her. What's your name? Nice try. But the rest of you couldn't see me. How do you know we couldn't see you? I wish I couldn't see him. Maybe we were just like those plastic people that stand in the stores modeling clothes. And that's why we didn't look at you. You know, the government puts cameras in those things to keep an eye on us while we're shopping. What about this? Every car comes with a foldaway mannequin that pops out and sits in the passenger seat side so that everyone can drive in the carpool lane. Now, Mr. So-called Death, why do you think we couldn't see you? Because I only appear to one who's to come with me. So you appear to all of us. I'm running late. Now, normally, I'd wait in the room undetected until I was sure which one of you I was to take. Then we'd be on our way. But I didn't have time. So, you broke the rules? Yes, yes, I broke the rules. I just thought it couldn't hurt this 
one time. I wish I could break the rules. You shouldn't break the rules. You could end up just like us. I know, I know. I just need to make up some time. Oh, I'm going to be in so much trouble. Can't you people just be reasonable? Do you even know where you are? Perhaps we didn't see you when you first came in because we are all crazy. Oh, dear. You can say that again. I think some of the doctors are going to spy on us. <laughs> all right. Let me confirm with my colleagues, Mr. Whoever you are, and we'll let you know. Well, I make them. 
Oh no, I have made the final adjustment and it will stand. I'm not allowed to make any more changes. But Sue's my friend. Don't worry, Miss Johnson. When her real time comes, you will join her. Please, you can't do this. Already done. There's some things even I cannot change. How can you be so cruel? I didn't want to take Sue. I wanted the one that I came for. But you all changed that. We won't let you take her. She's as good as taken. He's right. I can feel it. See, there's only one thing left for me to do. What's that? In approximately six minutes, I will simply touch Sue and she will come with me. Well, I've got news for you. You're not going to leave one icy finger on her. That's right. We won't let you. No. No. You'll have to get through me first. You'll have to get through all of us. Then please, tell me one thing. What the? Where'd he go? He's gone. How do you propose to stop me? How did you do that? Please, folks, I appreciate the heroics. I really do. But you must remember who I am. I'm inevitable. Sue, I'm sorry. What do I do? How much time do I have? Uh, five minutes. And what happens if you don't touch her? Oh, I don't even want to begin to think about it. If I don't touch her at exact precise time, the consequences would be... Well, I don't want to even to begin to talk about all the trouble it caused. I would have liked to have one last group. Group? Group session? That's all why you're all here. We're waiting for the doctor to conduct our group. I see. She always liked her sessions. Can you wait until after our session? I'm sorry, I must take her at precisely 8.15. Then let's have her session now. But the doctor's not here. So what? We know what to do. Would you care to join us? Me, uh, I don't think I'd be very good at it. Won't you honor her dying wish? I don't think she'd want me in the... What, are you scared? No, it's just that I... Then sit down. You can have the doctor's seat. I guess it couldn't hurt. But we only got five minutes. You'd be surprised what we can accomplish in five minutes. All right, all right. In the absence of the doctor, I would like to welcome everyone to group for this evening session. First, we have to tell everyone what our problem is. Death, but if you serve. Okay, I'm a dreamer and a wisher. What? I'm always wishing for something else. At least that's what they tell me. I'm never satisfied with what's going on in the present, but I wish I was. <laughs> Good. Ron? There's nothing really wrong with me. It's everyone else who's up, who's up to get me. And if you don't me, just read the papers. You'll find that Academy Relations are out this year. Thank you, Rhonda. Sam? I'm Sam. I usually question everything. Like, why did death come for me? Bobby? Actually, my problem is that I'm a genius. I always had these great ideas. You may be interested in this one, Mr. Death. A casket with a mechanical lever inside that lifts the corpse's arm so that when you go to see your final device at the viewing, the deceased would raise his hand so you could shake it. See, it's brilliant like that which gets me into trouble. All right, I am, and my problem is that I always like to take charge and control everything. Why is that? Because I know everything. <laughs> Sue, are you feeling up to it? Yes, yes. I want to participate. I am always comparing myself to others. I'm sorry. My answer wasn't as good as any of yours. It was just fine, Sue. The doctor would be proud of us, admitting our faults like that. What about you? Me? Yeah, the doctor always participates. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say. Look, it's not that difficult. Just tell us what your faults. I don't think I have any faults. Oh, excellent. Now you're really opening up. Yeah, buddy, that must have been hard for you to admit. Next, we have to tell everyone something we like about Oh, me first. I'm an idea person. I have all these great ideas. Like, what if we fed the tuna fish mayonnaise before we catch them? Think of how much time that would save in the kitchen. I like the way I can imagine better things. I just wish sometimes my wishes would come true. I like the fact that I can spot things that are up to get me. I like the way I compare myself to you guys. It makes me feel good. I'm glad. <laughs> Well, I'm fair. 
I treat everyone equally. The most unequal thing you can do is treat unequals as equals. All right, time for Explore Our Past. What's that? Each of us has to tell something that happened in the past that has affected our lives. I like this. It's kind of fun. Fun? I don't know if you remember this, but we've met before. <coughs> when I was in grade school, there was this road nearby called Azel Drive. It was a huge skate hill that ended up to the main street of the town. I had this idea that I would bomb Azel on my skateboard after school. Wow. It means we ride straight down. No slalom, no slowing, just straight down, picking up speed and momentum until you crash or run into the busy street below. <laughs> the word soon spread about what I was planning to do, and the whole school took out to watch. What happened? With everyone looking at me, I couldn't back down. I was scared to death. And I stood on my board and looked around and do its thing. I had made about three-fourths of the way down, doing about 30 miles per hour, and then it happened. What? I hit a pebble. I went flying 20 feet. I thought I was dead. It was like everything slowed down, and I became completely aware of my surroundings. That's when I saw you, standing in the crowd watching me. Me? When I landed, I rolled and spun and somersaulted. And then I stood up. I had a few cuts and a couple of scrapes and a big bruise on my knee. But I was okay. I lived. I beat you. It just wasn't your time. Then why were you there? I don't remember this exact incident, but if I was there, I was probably there just in case. Just in case? I thought you only appeared to be people whose time has come. Yes, but some people tend to take matters into their own hands and seem to insist on going before their time. If that happens, I need to be there just in case. When I was a little girl, Mrs. Porter's cat Snibbles was stuck in a tree. We called the Snibbles and even put some food out for her, but she just wouldn't come down. I remember Mrs. Porter's face and how weird she was. And I remember thinking that if Snibbles was thinking down, she would die of starvation. Or she would eventually fall asleep and plummet to her death. Then, one of the neighbors' boys had to climb the tree. It was a long way up, but eventually he reached her and pulled her down. This is what I'm so grateful. I think I'll do that someday, save a life. Can you see into my future? Let's save a life someday. I'm sorry, there's only one thing I can see about anyone's future. Oh, I just think that would be wonderful if I could save someone's life. I feel like my life is complete. I could even die doing it. It would be a true moment of no regret. A true moment of no regret? A true moment of no regret. Interesting. I thought about dying for When I was younger, there was this boy in my school who was so handsome and so charming. He was just perfect. I wanted him so much to like me romantically, but he didn't. I remember thinking that if he didn't like me, I would just die. My heart ached so much. Every waking moment, he was all I thought about. I even wanted to end myself, just to make the hurt stop. What happened? Nothing. After a couple weeks, the feelings went away and I started to think clearly again. Even though I never told anyone about my feelings, I felt kind of dumb and obsessed over it the whole time. Time heals all. I got beat up in the fourth grade. I had just started to walk home from school when I saw some of the older boys looking for someone to bully. I was all by myself, so they started chasing me. I got to the end of the block and looked back. They were still coming, but I made it. But I. But I had only one block left to my house, and I knew I could easily make it. Just then, Matthew Alexander came around the corner. He had run around the block the other way before they even started to chase me. I was small for my age, and Matthew was big. He'd been held back a year, so he was the oldest one in the fourth grade. Lucky for me, he was my friend. He smiled as he came toward me. I thought he was going to help me, protect me, but then he grabbed me. I struggled, and he laughed. He held me there until the, until the other boys got to me. Then. He threw me into the dirt. They all pounced on me. When it was over, I looked up at them through a mixture of dust and tears. And they were just laughing. The next day at recess, we all think he's all together, as if it had never happened. That's terrible. I'm over it. Very good, Rhonda. <laughs> Glad to hear that you feel you're over it, though you still remember it clearly. How do you feel about this uh, Matthew boy? I hate him. I see. Well, I also had an incident in grade school that hurt me badly, though not in the same way. We all turned in an essay entitled, Where I Want to Be in 20 Years. There was one girl who did not do her essay, so she ra randomly pulled it out of the pile, and it was my paper. She raised my game from the top and wrote her own and put it back in the pile. The next day, the teacher asked me why I didn't turn in my paper, and I explained that I did. We 
looked through the pile together and found it. The handwriting of the girl's name did not match the rest of the paper. The teacher called her parents and she got in a lot of trouble. And she blamed me. Can you believe it? She blamed me because she got caught cheating. I got into a vicious fight with my sister. Ooh, let me guess, over a guy. I wish it was over something as noble as that, but I'm afraid it was over something as petty as money. Money? Yes, money. Money makes the world go around, and it keeps sisters from speaking to one another for years. And when I'm gone, would you tell her I'm sorry for me? Tell her it was my fault. Was it your fault? It doesn't matter now. Just tell her for me, will you? Sir, sure, I will. I promise. Well? Well, what? It's your turn. Me? We all said something from our past. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say. Any regrets? No. Anything you feel sorry for? No. Anything you want to get off your chest? Not really. Are you telling us that all the people you've taken across to the other side, there's not one you've had second thoughts about? Well, there's this one guy. Yes? And he deserved what he got. What he got? Well, as you know, there's a uh, judgment and a uh, consequence. Of course. Well, this guy had done bad stuff all his life. And one night, during a robbery, he had a shootout with the police. And I had to come call him. Sure, you're just after all. Yeah, but the thing is, he seemed like he had a good heart. If he had had a little more time, he might have changed his life around, you know? Dependent for all the wrong things he done. And maybe one of them is so badly for the guy. You never know, but it was his own fault. I guess so. And then there was that lady that got caught in a car accident last week. Her husband misses her so much. Sure, it's just one of those things. But I try not to think about it. But sometimes it's just hard. It'd be hard for anyone. But I have my rules, you understand? Rules are rules. And all those soldiers in the wars. They're there, let off. Just last week, Miss Jackson, Jeremy Shepherd had a litter of pops. They were so cute. And I had to take two of them. Oh, you poor thing. I don't know why I had to get stuck with this job. Oh, you're not that bad. You're actually useful and necessary. I am? Sure. You're being too hard on yourself. No one even likes me. Oh, come on. Now you're being ridiculous. No, it's true. Everyone hates it when I appear. Oh, come on. I don't hate you. You don't? No. I think you're nice. You do? Sure. <laughs> Close your eyes and relax. We've got you. Thank you. It's 8.15. I didn't touch her. I'm feeling better. It's 8.15. You made me forget about touching her. Did I? <laughs> you did this on purpose. You had me talking and talking, you made me lose track of time. You cheated me. So you can't take her now? No, you've seen too bad. <laughs> Not bad, I cheated death twice in one night. Yes, Miss Johnson, congratulations. So, I saved your life. Yes, Miss Johnson, you saved your life. Now I'm gonna be in big trouble. So, I saved your life. This has been a true moment of no regret. A true moment of no regret? Huh. That's right. I see. I'm ready now. You ready? Yes. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Sam. Goodbye, Sam. I'll miss our sessions together. I love you, Sam. Oh, thank you, Sam. I'll miss all of you. Don't worry, Miss Johnson. They'll be seeing us both eventually. I sure hope they have group in heaven. Heaven? Yes, Miss Johnson. Heaven. Congratulations.